Hello students, welcome to the Learner's Planet. So students, this is our second problem solving session for chemistry paper of AIEEE of 2007. Right, now in this session students, we will be solving around 10 questions of that paper. So let's start with our problem solving session. See, this was the 11th question of that paper. Uh, we have already solved around 10 questions. So this question is here. The reaction of toluene with chlorine in the presence of FeCl3 gives predominantly. So, the reaction is taking place in the presence of what? In the presence of FeCl3. So, what will be the reagent over here? The reagent would be your FeCl3 reacts with chlorine and it gives what? FeCl3 is a Lewis acid. Right? And it will form FeCl4 minus plus of Cl plus. Now what is the Cl plus? It is chloronium ion. Right? It means it is an electrophile. Now, what you have to do? This is toluene. So, which group is present there in toluene? It is CH3. Right? So, this is CH3. It reacts with the chloronium ion which is formed and what is the CH3? It is an ortho para directing group. That is, your CH3 is a ring activating group. Ring activating group means it releases electrons towards the benzene ring. Right? Now how this electron is released? It is due to the hyperconjugation. Okay, that is your no bond resonance. So the electron is released towards the benzene ring. Right? So it is a ring activating group or it is an ortho para directing group. Right? So where the substitution will take place? It will take place at ortho position at para position. Right? So this is CH3, this is Cl plus of the chlorine at the para position. That is here. So which of the compound will be in major proportion students? It would be para chlorotoluene. Why? Because of the least steric repulsion. Now here you see there is a repulsion between the groups. They are very closely placed. So what happens that your orthochlorotoluene is in minor amount and your parachlorotoluene is in major amount. So this is ortho and parachlorotoluene is the right answer. Right? So, uh, had it been a ring deactivating group, the substitution would have taken place at the meta position. Right? Ring deactivating groups like nitro group. Okay? So, there the substitution will take place at the meta position or the benzaldehyde, which is also a ring deactivating group. So, the substitution will take place at meta position. But if there is a ring activating group, the substitution takes place at the para position and it is what? At the ortho and the para position. Right? So with the ring at deactivating groups in the benzene ring, the substitution takes place at the ortho and the para positions and the para product is the major product. Now let's take up our next question. Yeah, this is the question. I give you its example, I suppose. Presence of a nitro group in a benzene ring 
activates the ring towards electrophilic substitution reaction renders the ring basic deactivates the ring towards electrophilic substitution reaction deactivates the ring towards nucleophilic substitution reaction so what will be the answer to this question students here i told you that your nitro group is a deactivating group now what it does it deactivates the ring towards electrophilic substitution reaction right now how it does so see this is your nitro benzene and this is what this is the way your nitrogen is bonded to oxygen all right now what happens is a dative bond over here it's not your uh, covalent bond it's a coordinate covalent bond okay now what happens oxygen being more electronegative it uh, does what it takes up the electron from this and it forms what it forms here n o negative and o right then what will happen there will be the shift of electron now this has got a positive charge so the electron moves here and an electron deficiency is created at the ortho position you might be knowing this this is just a revision what i am doing here right this is not a plus over here this is okay so there is an electron deficiency and we have got this then next what will happen this electron will move over here and there will be at an electron deficiency at the para position so we have got this n o negative and o and there is a positive charge over nitrogen right next what will happen this electron will move over here and again there is an electron deficiency at the ortho position right so this is n o and o right so where are you finding the electron deficiency it is at the ortho and the para position so the substitution takes place at the meta position right so here the deact deactivates the ring towards electrophilic substitutions so the ring is deactivated now what is your uh, resonating resonance structure over here there is a positive charge in the ring at the ortho and the para positions and there is a positive charge at your nitrogen also right so this is the thing so the presence of the groups like nitro like your aldehydes like your coo group or the cyanide groups they it deactivates the ring right towards the electrophilic substitution reaction now let's take up our next question in which of the following ionization processes the bond order has increased and the magnetic behavior has changed so you have to find out whether where the bond order has been increased if i am taking c2 to c2 plus so the number of electrons have been decreased over here and it is how much c2 how many uh, electrons would be there the outermost orbital it would be 4 and 4 8 and now it is 7 right then the total of electrons i have to find out right the total number of electrons in carbon is how much 6 
so it would be 12 and 11 now in this case NO and NO plus so how many electrons are there in nitrogen monoxide it is 15 electrons right and NO plus it is how much it is 14 electrons now let's write the electronic uh, the molecular orbital configuration of nitrogen monoxide so how many electrons there are 15 so it would be sigma what sigma 1s2 sigma antibonding 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma antibonding 2s2 then it is nitrogen so there will be merging of the orbitals of 2pz and 2s so the energy of the 2pz will increase do remember the students now you have to put in what pi 2px is equal to pi 2py so how many electrons you need to fill in 15 2 4 6 8 uh, this is 10 12 then will be your sigma 2pz2 that is 14 and pi 2px1 is equal to pi 2py and this is what this is antibonding so let's find out its bond order so bond order will be equal to this is 2 4 6 8 10 minus how many antibonding are there? 2, 4 and 1, 5 divided by 2. So what you'll get? You'll get 2.5. Right? So and it is what? NO is paramagnetic that is nitrogen monoxide and it is an also an odd electron molecule. So NO is what? It is paramagnetic. Now, if I talk of NO+, plus, so what will happen? How many electrons will be there in NO+, plus? there will be 14 electrons, right? It means if I keep this molecular orbital configuration like this, so what will be the number of electrons now? The number of bonding would be 10 and antibonding would be 2 and 2, 4. So the bond order of this NO plus or nitrosonium ion would be equal to how much this would be 10 minus 4 by 2 and this gives you 3 so here students the bond order has been changed or is increased and the magnetic behavior has also been changed right so the bond order has been increased the bond order has been increased from 2.5 to 3 and the species has become diamagnetic right in rest of the cases there might be some differences you that you can easily find out right so this is the option where the bond order has been increased and the magnetic behavior has been changed so just do write these and you can find out very easily the bond orders and the magnetic behavior so this is the way how we do such type of questions fine now let's take up our next